between 35 and 40 percent of the government procurement budget and tender fraud. Concretely, this is lost to asbestos corruption in the free state, to COVID-19 corruption all over the country that is meant to build stadiums and recreational facilities, as we have seen even in my township in, uh, in Sada and Queenstown, digital vibes that led to the death of the Okoran, Tembisa Hospital looting spree of uh, tiny-skinned uh, jeans, and many countless incidents of stealing. We make another example to show you that we are actually in a failed state. The academic and financial exclusions. The recent wave of protest by students is a classic expression of revolt against academic and financial exclusions of the working class children from the universities. The more than four million applications by prospective students when 20 universities collectively had less than 200,000 spaces in 2023. Just listen to that. 20 million applications. And yet, oh, sorry, 4 million, sorry, 4 million applications for only 200,000 spaces in 2023 at our universities. Graphically demonstrate that this crime against young people, which is perpetrated by austerity programs, refusal to invest and build more universities in our country and celebrating how many universities? Two. Mm. One in the Northern Cape, one in Pumalang. 28, nine years. That's all we're celebrating. The result is what you see there. Government is effectively saying to young people, we are trembling on your constitutional rights. We are trembling on your constitutional rights and we don't care. And further it is saying, if you dare fight for this right to education, we will brutalize you. We have police on our side. You sitting where you are at home know of many examples of how this state is no more to protect even the most basic rights that are accrue from Section 27 of the Constitution, the right to clean water, the right to education, the right to a job the right to clean air and environment, and the, the right to security. This is the program of action that emerged from this NEC. Despite the glaring crisis, the working class remains divided, fragmented, and weakened more than ever before. We accept that. The working class has become, or the working class has, because of these weaknesses, failed to offer a coherent alternative to this worsening crisis of capitalism. We have no movement for socialism in place that can take up the battles against the structural crisis and mobilize the poor against the unfolding crisis of capitalism. The NEC agreed to urgently reconvene the Political and Ideological Commission 
the campaigns committee, the working class summit, the conference of the left summit to help unite and put to an end the fragmentation and the sectarian approaches in which small and ineffective but still militant protest actions that lack coordination at all national levels or at the national levels are taking place every day. But unfortunately, the situation is getting worse with all of those small, uncoordinated national protest actions. The second national congress held in May 2023, the July 2022 NEC, and now this NEC at the end of February, has issued a clarion call for the Federation to rebuild itself from bottom up. This will include taking forward all of the directives contained in the integrated operational plan adopted by the NEC in July, such as ensuring recruitment, service to members, education and training for leaders and officials, and so forth. We recognize that the internal divisions within SAFTO made us lose yet another moment, the 2018 moment, in which we passed into prominence by organizing the biggest protest action not seen in a long time in our history post-1994. SAFTU leaders are committed to leave no stone unturned in forging and strengthening unity, confronting difficulties and differences in order to ensure that we fully embrace the call of the Second Digital Congress to stop being inward looking. SAFTU NEC received a report from the meeting between the SAFTU leadership and the leadership of the EFF regarding the request of the EFF that SAFTU part of the national shutdown scheduled for the 20th of March 2023. The NEC resolved that SAFTU will participate in the national shutdown. This means that we will galvanize and mobilize our own members to join the national shutdown across the country. In fact, we have submitted a Section 77 notice this morning to NEDLEC to protect all workers in and outside the Federation. This means any worker, even if they are not member of any union, including the Federation itself, will be protected from victimization by the employers when they participate in that digital shutdown. However, our participation has conditions which have been ironed out in the discussion with the leadership of the EFF. And these include, one, working to ensure that the 20th of March initial shutdown is not sectarian, where all other formations will be called upon to join a program of one political party. Staff to insist that we are happy that the EFF has agreed that the broadest possible front of the working class formations be mobilized as the advanced detachment of the working class to mobilize effectively for the initial shutdown. Meaning that SAFTU is not willing to just join a political party's programs. We can't do that. We are an independent federation. We can only join a broad front of left formations working together to achieve a common goal of an effective national shutdown on the 20th. 